I almost lost my baby. That motherfucker right there. Where's his ass at? Look at him. Hiding right there, motherfucker. You almost got my baby. Almost. But I see you, coyote. I see you. I know you're there. I never let my babies walk alone. Never. Never, Mr. Coyote. Never. I've been watching. I know you guys are there. I've been knowing you guys were there for a long ass time, bro. Why don't you run out on Big Dog? Come get him. Come get my Malinois. Come get the Malinois, bro. I got my I got my stick for that ass. Yes, sir. Woo! I got that's why I carry the Steven Seagal tension. That's why I carry the Steven Seagal tension. He was running on my dog. My dog never even saw him with his bad ass. I see you! Come on here, Malinois. Oh, look at him. Look at him. Look at him. Woo! Do you see that, motherfucker? Woo! Look at him. Woo! Woo, he just charged me again. Look at him. He's coming. He's coming. Look at him come. Come on. Come on, Brutus. Come on. Come on, Brutus. Damn it, I don't have my fucking pistol. One time, I... I will fuck you up. Look at him. Come on, Brutus. I will fuck you. You know better. You know better. Let me put my dogs up. I'm going to come get that ass. Come get some of this tension. Come get you some. Woo! Woo-hoo! Call of the wild, baby. Come on, dog. Get that. Get your ball. Get your ball. Yeah, come on. Y'all, y'all ain't ready for the wild. I keep Saul's asses pampered. <sighs> Woo! Woo! Woo, look at him. So beautiful. So beautiful. Oh, wait a minute. I do have my pistol. That's right. I do have it. Wow. Hey! Let's go, boys. We've escaped death once. <sighs> Woo! Daddy ran and saved that ass, didn't he? You got to be in shape out here, y'all. He had made a play for my dog. He had made a play. Tried to snatch him. We will never go back there without our pistol on us. Never. Never again. You get in there. You live to you live to eat another day, my sweet puppy. Okay. So that's a varmint, that's a pest. He's got to be eliminated. Let's go get that ass. I see you. I still see you. Oh, I hear him barking. Ah! You hear that? You hear that, y'all? We're going to go get that ass. We're going to go get it.
Gonna go dispatch of that ass. <sighs> so, what happened was, see, about six months ago, I saw some movement in the bush over there. And it looked like a big ass brown dog, which kind of blew me away. And then I said, there ain't no dogs that big. Turns out, I correctly assumed it was coyotes. There he is right there. I don't know if you can see him, but he's right there. Big and bold and brave. Oh, that's not him. That's trees. Damn, I thought that was him. Oh no, that is him. That is him. Look at that bad motherfucker, bro. Look at him, hungry. Look at him. Hungry as fuck. Do you see him? See this tension? Steven Seagal developed this. If I gotta, I'll beat the shit out of you with it. Such a pussy. Like, I don't want to kill anything. Such a pussy. Damn. I looked away and he disappeared just like that. Oh, no, there he's coming back out. There he is. Look at him. Look at him. He's as big as a German Shepherd. Oh, my God. Look at him. Oh. Oh. I know people that would kill you already. I'm such a pussy. You really need to die because you're dangerous to my dog. But that is your kingdom back there. Well, I want you to know, bro. I want you to know. I'm being good right now. Right now, I'm being real good to you. Real good. Oh, yeah, sit down. Sit up. Go ahead, sit down like you're not afraid of nothing. Look at you. Why can't I keep the camera on? There you go. Look at him, calm, cool, and collected. But you didn't get my dog. That guy, that guy looks so fucking big. Can I pet you? Would you like to be petted? Oh, you're beautiful. You almost did it. Look at you sitting there waiting for a poor dog to come by. Better be glad I respect nature. Oh, hey, I, I wouldn't be moving fast. Don't move fast. Woo, look at him. Going under cover to come out at me on another spot. Look at him! Woo! You better be glad I'm not a great white hunter or something. Your ass would be all plastered on my stuff. I'm such a pussy. Let that be a warning to you. Come after my dog again. And I'll, 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 you know, I, I'll, I'll, I'll do something. Obviously, I'm not going to shoot you because I'm a pussy, but hey! Oh my God, is that another one? Holy shit! Oh, wow. You pack hunting motherfuckers. You pack hunt. You are going to surround me! Wow! Wow! Oh my gosh. 
Survival and fitness out here on the schoolyard. Really? On the schoolyard? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Something behind me? Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. Really? On the schoolyard? You gonna get me in captivity? This is not a vampire movie. I will pop you in your shit. I'm not that guy out in the wilderness with a cougar. I got plenty to get you with. If I were you, I'd go on on. You better go on on with your little pack and stuff. You better go on on. None of my puppies for you, bro. Or your little friend over there. I see y'all. I see y'all. Probably got rabies. I'm going to call Yorkin out here to exterminate y'all. Let me get on, on back up here in civilization where I belong. Tension by Steven Seagal. It's too bad they stopped making them. Oh, look at look at there, There's another one. I see you. I see you. I see you. Pack hunters. I got something for y'all. That guy, they tried to get my dogs. They tried to get my dogs. But I never, I never, see, so, long time ago, from that spot right there, I was way up there, about a mile away, I see a brown thing, like, cross over in that spot right there. And I says to myself, that looked like a German Shepherd. But who let their German Shepherd run through the wild? And it dawned on the Black Dragon, that was a coyote. And what messed me up was I saw another one and another one go by. So they got like a pack back there. So I had been watching those woods for the past year. When my dog walks, I'm never more than 10 feet from him. I always walk here with my dogs. Now, I, I have faith in the big one. But uh, because he was chasing his ball, he never looked up. I got faith in the big one, but the little one, the little one, you know, he, one day he disappeared in these woods. He went running off in these woods and he was gone for two hours. I just knew he was dead. So I have faith in the big one. He's a Malinois. I think he could handle one or two. When he was looking at his ball and I'm glad he was attracted to his ball because if he wasn't looking at that ball, he wouldn't went after this guy. And then they'd have got him up in the bushes and I'd have had to go up in there with the tension by Steven Seagal made by Cole Still. I don't know why they don't make these anymore. You guys need to make these again. These, these are the bomb diggity. I feel confident. Look at it, two of these motherfuckers. Wow, look at them sitting on the precipice of the forest awaiting something to come past so that they can jump out on them. Oh, and there's a third one. I'll be darn diggity. Better be glad I'm a nice guy out here. Nature lover. Oh, don't turn your back on him. What are you doing? Never turn your back on the enemy. Hey, y'all. I got something for y'all, though. You won't catch me in the wilderness unprepared. Huh. This ain't even the wilderness, though. That's what hurts. That's what hurts about it. We've encroached. We've encroached on these animals' territory such that they ain't got no place to be. But thing you got to know about a coyote, a lone coyote, unless he's emaciated or... Uh, or uh, uh, sick, very hungry or sick, a lone coyote will back down off of you. You just make yourself bigger and wave 
and a lone coyote will back down off of you. Uh, I was in those, those woods before. This is a woods between housing developments. And the interesting thing about those woods is that um, they are so dense, you can't walk through there. You can only way you can get through there is uh, by um, uh, 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 you got to find a hole. You can't like break the tree line. Line. So when my dogs went running back there one day, and the dog gods decided to be good to him, uh, and he was gone for like two hours back there, I was crying. I literally walked around back there looking for the sob. And it is so dense back there, I realized real quickly that I was out of my element. Anything happens to you back there, you fall, you trip, uh, anything like that, and you're back there, nobody knows you're back there, you could easily die back there. It's like a whole new frontier back there. Uh, in between the school and the, and the neighborhoods is this dense brush line. And that dog is big. That that uh, that that coyote is big and well fed. You guys saw his picture. Big as a German Shepherd. And uh, man, I wonder if the mountain wall really could have taken him down. I don't know. I, I don't know. Wild versus domesticated guys who sleep on a couch next to the master and eat hamburger meat and mixed vegetables. I don't know. There's a wild coyote down there. Two, there's a, actually a pack of them, about two or three. I'm not kidding you. They almost got. Well, I, I was. The dog was down there, and uh, no, he ran out on him. But I was able to. I was able to make him go away. You saw one? Yeah, there's one that sits right there, and he's the the hunter for the pack. And they sit, they sit back there. Yeah, well, he, he's kind of afraid of humans, but I, I wouldn't go back there without a stick. Uh, yeah, we have to have something. Uh, really yeah, you got to have something. <laughs> yeah, the last time we saw him once, uh -huh. he just sit there, and then one person have a dog. Yeah. Then the sneaking, then he saw the dog, then he started going out and walk. Yeah. Yeah, I saw I saw him at the last minute out of the corner of my eye, charging for my dog, and I I but I knew they were back there. I saw them maybe a year ago, so I never let him walk. I'm always like five steps behind him. I know you always walk with a small one. Yeah, yeah, he's in there. I I had to, and then he tried to go get the the, the coyote. I had to pick him up. <laughs> Silly dogs. Yeah, he wants to pick a fight. <laughs> Take care. Be careful. I, I, I don't blame you. Bye-bye. Well, that was exciting. That was exciting. I don't know. I, I mean... I mean, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, I was, I was, uh, I don't know, if terrified is the word, uh, very shocked uh, to see, like I felt like I was on a mutual of Omaha, Hall, Wild King. You see, you guys are too young for that. You guys don't remember Mutual of Omaha and uh, Melvin, Melvin Purvis. What was his name? Oh my goodness, Marlon, Marlon Perkins, Marlon Perkins, and then you had a, uh, you had a. Uh, Oh my goodness, uh, Jim. Jim was always the guy that went. I, I was Jim today. You guys got to look that up. They've got Mutual Omaha, Wild Kingdom videos. You got to look it up. And I was, I was uh, Jim. Today, Jim will go and attack the lion. <sighs> that was surreal. My blood is boiling. Everything is tingling. I feel alive. I feel lucky to still have my dog. Oh man, that coyote. He was, he was like on the move for my dog. Like tail out, extended, 
and my dog never saw him coming. My dog's nose was toward the ground, never saw him coming. It would have been a blind hit. He would have grabbed my dog and it would have been a foot race through the wilderness. But I'd have won, fat ass and all. You ain't taking my dog. Mm -mm. No, that's my family. These two mutts are my family. We don't play that with family. I, I wanted to shoot him because he's a pest. And uh, if, he, if I kill him, I'd never have to worry about him again. Uh, and because I'm from a farm, uh, rural type of existence, I come from Oklahoma, uh, I know to kill that animal. Um, I've just turned into such a wuss in my old age. I, I, uh, I try not to kill if I don't have to because for me, all I have to do is keep my dog like I, like I do. I don't let him walk unless I'm right on him because I know these things hunt. And it's getting close to dark. This is when they hunt. But by not killing that dog, that 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 coyote, I have left him to hurt someone else and take their dog. So I'm gonna come back here tomorrow, or maybe even later tonight. I'm gonna get a poster board and put a big sign up: "Beware of the coyotes." And uh, so that I will do in an attempt to make up for my lack of uh, courage in, in uh, eliminating that pest. Um, and he's, he's a pest because um, uh, unfortunately he has collided into man's world and man is the alpha dog. So when you collide into man's world and you're encroaching on, sure we, we, we've we encroached with our housing developments, this, that, and the other, but. Your choice is to go deeper in the woods, not to come out and get my dog. That's not your, you don't get to make that choice. I will eliminate you. I would have beat him to death with my Steven Seagal tension. And uh, I normally, if it's a little darker, I, I, uh, I would have been um, armed because I know those dogs are back there, especially when the schools were shut down uh, and there was no traffic at all. It just be me and my dogs. Sometimes we walk at one, two o'clock in the morning, and uh, uh, you know the dogs. I, I'm a rider, as you know, so I'm just I, I work all kinds of crazy hours, and I I ride all kinds of crazy hours. So I would have, uh, you know, I'm out here sometimes one, two, three o'clock in the morning, and uh, uh, the police all know me. They follow. <laughs> stop me. What are you doing back here? Walking the dogs. Okay. Three o'clock in the morning. Well, carry on, sir. But, uh, uh, I don't know. I, I always knew they were there. I have been prepared for them for the last year. Almost, it was almost a year ago that I saw them. So I've been prepared for, I had been prepared for what just happened. I have been prepared for it. And my preparation, uh, my preparedness worked, uh, as I, as I had hoped it would, uh, I always told myself, never have less than uh, your your Steven Seagal tension. Never have less than that. But I also have uh, four battle canes made by Cold Steel, uh, because as you guys know, I have I have issues walking, uh, and uh, I decided when I was going to carry a cane that I would carry a cane that could uh, protect me. So I have a couple sword canes and these things that are called battle canes. I have an axe cane and all these canes that I bought from uh, from uh, Cold Steel. They make all kinds of swords and stuff and knives, throwing knives. Uh, and uh, Steven Seagal created this tension and I guess they stopped selling them because the tensions uh, weren't selling. But this is absolutely, I'm gonna find a way to see if I can't you know, get the patent or something and, and make this. This is a formidable weapon. You know, I, I, I got to thank Steven Seagal for creating this. It's a formidable weapon as well as a formidable cane, especially for a guy big like me. Steven Seagal is a monster. He's huge. So uh, a guy that's big like me, I'm six foot four. I think Steven Seagal might be six foot six. So a guy like me, um, 
uh, it can hold my weight, but it, it has, I believe, a metal rod in it. It's reinforced. It's several weapons in one. You got to look it up. I don't know why they're not making them, but I want to, you know, I want to see if I can make this thing um, and sell it. It is absolutely a vital component, and I felt very solid having that tension. I, I had no fear uh, of protecting my dogs, and it wouldn't have mattered to me if they had had five or six of them things coming out on me because uh, you can split their head wide open with attention. So, no, you don't get my dogs. Plus, I had the Malinois, and uh, he has already proven on several occasions that if my life is threatened, uh, he is up for the challenge. Um, so, anyway, that was my afternoon. Uh, we're going to call the walk short, and uh, we're going to go on on and uh, go for our daily ride and then maybe I'll come back and make a video for you guys but this one was very exciting the uh, it, it was just very exciting and scary and emotional uh, and then my blood was boiling I really felt cool I wanted to shoot I'm just such a wuss these days back in my hunting days you know but I I was raised if you don't eat it don't kill it unless it's a pest uh, and I should have killed that pest, but I, I didn't. And uh, I've got to make up for it by warning people that they're back there. But most people that live here know that them coyotes are back there. Uh, we kind of pass it on to ourselves. But it was my first time. But I knew, I knew, I just knew that one would run out on my dog one day. And I, I caught him out the corner of my eye. He was making his attack. I don't think he saw me. Or maybe he didn't think I would catch up to my dog as fast as I did. Because my dog likes to run off and leave me. Uh, but I never let that dog get more than about uh, uh, 20 feet ahead of me. I, I'm going to be even more vigilant now. I'll probably keep these dogs on the chain so that they're even closer to me. Um, it, it, anyway, all those things. Uh, talking real fast. I'm starting to cool down now. Listen, I'm Black Dragon. <laughs> This is Biker TV, Black Dragon Biker TV. For those of you who are interested in that kind of thing, like, subscribe, and follow. Hit the notification bell. Also, uh, get my new book, Black uh, 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 President's Bible. Get my new book, President's Bible, the uh, Motorcycle Club uh, book. It's for Motorcycle Club presidents. Helps you get your master's degree in emceeing. President's Bible is a six-book book. Chronicle series. Chronicle 1 is Principles of Leadership. So make sure to get my book uh, available on Kindle and Amazon uh, and in, uh, in late August. All right. That's my two cents. Thanks for tuning in and get skinny.